There's a major issue with getting on self-improvement. And it's an issue that I experience. The main problem is people get onto self-improvement, they escape the matrix, they get onto the red pill or, you know, they discover this new way of seeing things in life. And they may have seen that from, for example, a YouTuber like Hamza. Now, Hamza was the first self-improvement YouTuber I ever watched. And I am eternally grateful for the inspiration he gave me to get in the gym, improve my social skills, just become a better person in general. Now, saying that, I was just a complete sheep. I would watch his videos, watch nothing but his videos, and immediately take on everything he said if he asked me if he was in front of me and said um jump i'd say how high because i was just you know i couldn't disagree with him even if he said things a little bit like you know off or like oh i'm not sure about that i just follow it because this is the guy that showed me self-improvement he can't be wrong i can't criticize what he says he's built such a wonderful life he has such success i must follow what he does in order to have success myself now the issue is success is subjective sure you can self-improve but now when i hear i used to call myself a self-improvement creator i'd say that i make self-improvement videos which is true but when i think of self-improvement now i just think of like you know the people that tell you that you need to do a dopamine detox or you need to cold shower all the time or you need to wake up at 5 a.m and go on runs and stuff now ultimately i know there are people who are genuinely happy genuinely successful who don't do those things right it got to the point where i felt bad for not having a cold shower which is ridiculous right ultimately having a if i you know did the same things having a cold shower is not going to get me to where i want to be right of course it's a good tool to use it can be something that wakes you up motivates you increases your dopamine levels but it every time i had a hot shower i would just get these negative thoughts i'd be like oh i could have had a cold shower or oh you know even when i was playing video games in between my self-improvement gen i was just thinking oh you know this is bad i should be doing something else Ultimately, you've got to live life by your terms and no one else's, right? There's no point listening to advice and just taking it as it is, right? Of course, it's great to listen to self-improvement advice, listen to YouTubers like Hamza, see what they have to say. But listen to what they have to say and then think about it. Give it some dedicated thought, right? After you've watched a YouTube video or consumed some content, actually pause and think, do I agree with this? Will this be beneficial for my life? Will I genuinely take this on and, you know, be consistent with it and be happy with it? Because I was just doing things because I heard that they could be good for me. Only I know what's good for me. Only you know what's good for you. It seems so, you know, clear to me now, but... Another thing that happens on self-improvement is when you just get this sort of superiority, their superiority complex, right? You get this sort of, oh, escape the matrix mantra where you just think you're better than everyone else. Now, of course, I didn't go around saying, you know, oh, I'm, you know, top G or anything stupid like that. That's a bit cringe as well. But I would just think, I would just see people living their lives. I'd see strangers and just think, you know, that, oh, they could be on self-improvement. Why aren't they on self-improvement? Self-improvement isn't for everyone. There are many people who are genuinely happy with their lives without it. Sure, they may do bad habits, but it's up to them. What has it got to do with me? Why am I focusing so much on other people? And it was also little things like, you know, I've never been to a club, for example, but I don't see myself being in clubs. I don't think of like me and my wife in the club, stuff like that. And so I was completely, no, clubs are a bad thing. Bad, bad, bad. I've never experienced it. A, how can I say they're bad when I've never experienced it? And B, 
life is to be experienced, right? Even if it's something that can be considered degenerate or whatever. I'm not saying go out and just try cocaine for the sake of it. Of course not. But these experiences that people have, right? You know, the reason why people want to, for example, live longer is not because they want the wisdom, not because they just want the milestone of being an old age. They want more memories because memories is what makes life fantastic. And I need to tell you now that you shouldn't listen to what others say you shouldn't listen to how other people you know created their dream life because realistically you can't follow someone's step-by-step -step guide right you can't follow how someone you know woke up at 5 a.m and then they immediately took this many steps to the bathroom and then they did this you, th you know it sounds stupid, but you think logically, oh, if I do all the steps that this person did, I'll become success successful. But no, you're an individual. What worked for them will likely not work for you. And you've just got to accept that people have other ways of doing stuff. Don't be salty, right? People are genuinely successful, genuinely have fulfillment by doing things outside of self-improvement. I know that's a crazy thing to say. But looking at self-improvement from an outside perspective, you just realize how sort of cringe it is, you know? Like, for example, red pill, blue pill, black pill, right? That's like a, a matrix reference. You're relying your whole, you know, ideology outlook on references to movies, which is just, you know, it's just nerd shit, you know what I mean? Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say. It's just, you're just, focusing on fantasy and other people's ideas you know how to live your life it's like when people you know watch a motivational movie and they'll think yeah i want to be like that guy i wish i had that life no why would you wish to have anyone else's life other than your own don't get caught up in this self-improvement web where you're striving to be like people of course have role models role models are fantastic to have but use them as in inspiration not as a roadmap. Don't use them as a framework for your entire life. Just do what you need to do. And if you don't know what to do, give it some thought. People are stuck thinking, oh, I'm not sure what I need to do. Well, I'll just copy Hamza and I'll just copy Andrew Tate. No, actually think for yourself. Be self-sufficient. Don't rely on others, right? You need to do what you need to do. And no self-improvement videos will truly guide you, right? It's all about the mindset. You've just, you've just got to live life. Cliche as it sounds, you've just got to live your own life. That's about how much I can say, bros. Make sure you take care. Thank you for listening to my, what the dust on me phone. Thank you for listening to my, I don't know, my peace, I guess. Just, yeah, life, live it.